Hello, welcome to another movie review of mine. Afterwards, please take the chance to visit my website, www.thescenviewer.com, where I have thousands of movie reviews, 60 plus lists of best films per genre, yearly ranked lists with top 5 per category going back to 1914, and dozens of miscellaneous lists including TV shows, actor profiles, and top 10 films per actor. The link can be found below. Today we are reviewing Deliverance 1972. Gave this movie a rating of 9, was viewed in 2005. 2017 and 2020. What did happen on the Kaushwahasi River? The answer to that question is a lot of bad shit. It's impossible to separate deliverance from banjo music, the Appalachian Mountains, white water rafting, the sound of a squealing pig, and hillbillies. Why? There's a shirt that says paddle faster. I hear banjo music. Hence, deliverance is famous for all the wrong reasons but it's a fantastic movie experience. Burt Reynolds, John Boyd, Ned Beatty, and Ronnie Cox. The latter two in feature film debuts are outstanding and did their own stunts. Let's be truthful here, it's Burt Reynolds in a breakthrough role who stole the show. He later called it the best film I've ever been in. John Borman offers an amusing antidote as to the difference between him and John Boyd in terms of their acting preparation. Void is method, so if he had a scene where he was supposed to be out of breath, he'd say, I need a three minute warning so I can get out of breath, and he'd run so he could be out of breath. Bert would say, I need 20 seconds, and he'd squirt a spritzer on himself and breathe hard. The most memorable of the cast is Billy Redden, the weird looking dueling banjos kid with seemingly birth defects. Although he didn't know how to play, Somebody put his left arm through him and played it while he provided the inbreed look and strummed the banjo with his right hand. As for the death of Ronnie Cox's character Drew, it's unknown whether he was actually shot or not. I didn't hear anything. It's also unclear if he threw himself in the water. Since no autopsy was performed, the only conclusion is Drew was never shot in the first place. He may have been overcome by guilt and just passed out. All in all, Deliverance is a timeless classic. Deliverance is a classic picture of the 70s. However, a rating of 9 is my ceiling for it. The only reason why I watch the film again is Burt Reynolds. He does the finest acting job of his career, transforming himself into a bona fide superstar. Once Burt Reynolds' character was taken out of commission after breaking his leg, John Voight tried to keep the momentum going, but alas, he didn't have it. Hence, Burt Reynolds should have been the Oscar-nominated despite posing nude in an issue of Cosmopolitan. What's impressive about Deliverance is that it looks real. The actors did their stunts during the whitewater trip with John Voight scaling the cliff. Burt Reynolds doing the flip from the canoe in the middle of the rapids is an amazing sight and it resulted in a broken tailbone for him. Need Beatty was the thankless role of putting up with the rape scene while Ronnie Cox provides the needed emotional balance in spite of what had transpired. By the way, the sheriff at the end is James Dickey. He's the author of the book. The film was shot on location in Rabbert County in northeastern Georgia, which is now completely flooded, dwelling 130 feet below Lake Kakasi. Jokasi. All in all, when I think of Deliverance, I think of Billy Redden, the dueling banjos, and most of all, Burt Reynolds. Thank you so much for joining me for this review. Don't forget to visit my website, www.thecviewer.com.